woman that really inspires me, Serena Williams. Um, I just since I was a, a kid, I've just always looked up to her. I just she plays with so much passion and heart, and she's just such a fierce competitor. Um, she got a lot of critique as well. Like I remember when I first watched her, everybody was um, or like the commentators would critique her physical appearance. You know, like saying is she unfit? Is she too big um, to play tennis? And you know, she's turned that all around, and she's been the best player in in the bloody world so um it's really inspiring and now that she's a mother um and still playing you know internationally um at the top of her game is just really inspiring and amazing as a woman to see that yeah it's so important um because some girls you know they'll look at themselves as a bigger woman think oh no i can't make it um you know, in the sport, I'm not, I'm not fit and toned, but, you know, you look at Serena and you look at her physique and you just think, well, yeah, I can do it. Um, and, you know, there's a few players in, in the uh, Super League here, you know, um, yeah, and it's really impressive to see, you know, they're bigger girls, myself included, um, and it's just good to see that we can make it, um, you know, at that high level, so it's inspiring. Oh, yeah, I'm alive, yeah, I'm alive. Yeah, so I haven't followed netball closely um, for too long. Um, pretty much only in the last couple of years that I've been really focusing on and um, paying attention to the players. So somebody I do look up to is Janelle Fowler. Just because I play shooter and she's a shooter, um, I think our stars are a little bit similar. Um, so I, I try and watch a lot of her games just to try and, you know, replicate her movements in the circle, her holding positions. Um, since being over here, somebody I really admire is Jade Clark. You know, she's um, obviously England's most capped player, but she's so humble to be around um, just at the at the club. You know, she's just so welcoming. I remember when I first signed, she was one of the first people to reach out to me um, just to say welcome to England and whatnot. And since I've been here, she's very supportive of everyone, you know, on and off the court. Um, so it's really nice to see. Um, to have her at the club as well. So that's, yeah, she's, I admire her a lot. Um, everybody at the club, all the players, you know, encourage everyone, um, empower everyone. Um, it's just really nice to be a part of. Uh, there's such a good energy, um, good vibes at the club, and everyone's just so supportive of everyone. You know, we're always, like, pushing each other in training, like, to do better, to be better. Um, and it's constructive criticism amongst each other you know to say hey I think you can do do that one this way or do this that way whatever and it's not getting down about that it's it's realizing that they're just trying to help me be that better athlete and I think that's really important just, let them watch, let them watch. just, just the um equality I guess you know um getting getting like it's amazing that all our Games are streamed live here on Sky Sports or um, or the YouTube channel. So it's just that coverage, um, that recognition of women's sport. I think that's a big challenge. Mm -hmm. um, thankfully, I haven't come across, across it myself like firsthand. Um, if it is, I don't know about it. Um, and I think that's a good thing. But I have seen like players think that, um, you know, women aren't as competitive as men. Um, they don't, you know, they don't bring that energy that the men do. Um, so they'll, they won't watch us because they think, you know, well, we're not that competitive. Whereas like, um, you know, we are like, we are just as passionate um, and we do love our sport just, just like everyone else. Uh, one thing in particular is like that I have seen watching, like watching basketball, um, the men they celebrate hard, you know, they'll they'll be passionate with their um celebrations when they do something good. But when a when a woman does it, for instance, Elizabeth Cambridge, um, she gets a lot of heat for um being arrogant on the court when she's celebrating or, you know, she's calling something out. She she gets like uh painted with a bad image. Um because she's a woman, whereas when LeBron James, for instance, does it, he's getting praised for it. So it's like it's that difference 
you know, that we can't be passionate like the men um, or otherwise we're being, you know, um, arrogant. I think just, you know, appreciating women's sport, like just, yeah, we're out there, we're hustling hard as well, just as hard as the men. Just appreciate it um, and enjoy it because we love to do it and we love to do it for, like, for the fans. Um, and obviously in COVID times, you know, they can't be there. So, you know, we'd like to put on a show for them um, at home. To, you know, they're just watching on their screens. But, um, yeah, just appreciate women in sport. Being, a, being attached to the rugby club um, has been pretty good for us. When, when I first told people, though, that I was going to play for Leeds Rhinos, they're like, are you playing rugby? I'm like, no, they've got a netball team now. So um, it's been the club itself has been very supportive. Um, Dan Buzzfield, he's um, been very supportive of the netball um, uh, club here um, and, and getting it all up and running. Um, so, yeah. Um, it would be just to, you know, Follow, follow your passion, you know, it, it, whatever it is, you know, go through with it, um, follow through with it and take every opportunity um, you get, take it and grab it with both hands, you know, and run with it. It, it, can, it can open doors to amazing things. Like, for example, two years ago, I never would have imagined I'd be overseas playing netball um, and here I am. So yeah, take every opportunity. <laughs>